no mai hari mai i te tēnei wānanga i tēnei wā e Weaving Together Digi Awards. Um, we will start with karakia and then we'll do some basic introductions. Um, he karakia tīmata, unuhe te pō, te pō whiri mārama, tomo kia te ao, te ao whatu tangata, tātai ki runga, tātai ki raro, tātai ahurau, haumie hui tai ki. So welcome to the both of you, oh, and Gemma, <laughs> sorry Gemma. Um, we will introduce ourselves, uh, and if you're in a position to have a quick intro, Kate Pai, if not, all good. But uh, ko wai au, ko Carmen Aldridge toku ingwa, uh, e te puaki o ki marua wai. So I come from down south, but e noho ana ki te o tautahi inoane, but I live in Christchurch at the moment. I work at Core Education, or Tātai Ahoro as a new brand branded name now, um, as you can see in the logo of our presentation, um, which is very exciting in our new mato. So we are offering support for Kayako and Tamariki for Digi Awards 2023. So really excited to be here with you both today and to uh, support you in your journey. Kapai. Jim. Kia ora, morena koutou. Ai, ko Jim Stewart tō koengua. Um, here, program manager Aho Kitatai Horo. Um, I'm a program manager for a range of things at, at Core Education, and um, yeah, lovely to be alongside Carmen this morning, and hoping that we can share something new with you. Okay, Alex, did you want to say a quick hello? Sure. Um, that's Maria. Um. Uh, so I moved down to Christchurch about a year ago, currently working at Dendleton Open Air. Uh, I was under his little corner. Um, yeah, kia ora, da. Kia ora, Alex. Um, Mandy, are you stopped at a red light, maybe? <laughs> I can multitask. Okay, <laughs> 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 yeah, Mandy, I work. Um, part time as a digital learning specialist at Bromley School, um, and I work at a few other different schools as well because digital technologies is my happy space. And really grateful for this opportunity. Um, the schools I've worked in have been involved in Digi Awards for the last few years, and they just get so much out of it. So I thank you both for your mahi as well and what you're offering today. Kia ora. Oh boy. Kia ora. Okie dokie. So, as we know, Digi Awards 2023, um, they have the a new co-papa essentially, where they were um, trying to include the Takanga Otewa or Aotearoa New Zealand History Curriculum as the two key documents that are to be implemented in schools in 2023. So, by including a Mataranga Māori focus in its broadest definition of the word. Um, they are hoping that we can raise the profile of entries that recognise um, narratives, maybe voyaging and first encounters, um, te reo Māori or maybe matariki, maramataka. So just um, taking that opportunity for our tamariki to learn some more, but also have the opportunity to show a Māori world view through their entrance entry, sorry, into Digi Awards. So this is the kaupapa for this year, uh, ko pohewa, ko auaha, ngā ara ki au hau. So this is about creativity and imagination transporting us to new worlds. And I think it's a really fun kaupapa for the tamariki, you know, because tamariki have the best imaginations and they have this really unique way to go beyond what an adult brain measures as uh, doable or achievable. So the whakatauki itself is written there on the screen, but it's just that big idea where tamariki get the opportunity to create something, to craft something that uh, has any possibility within it. And that's also the opportunity to share. So to share stories, um, to provide those opportunities um, to you know, understand and show knowledge of different worlds, 
through a creativity lens, through imagination and interaction as well. So um, I know that the Digi Awards team, in particular Helen McGugan is who we've been working with, is really excited about this kaupapa and the potential that it has for kaiako and tamariki. I think as a little bit of a disclaimer on my behalf and potentially on Jim's behalf as well, but I'll let Jim talk to herself. Um, the mātaranga Māori theme here, mātaranga Māori is a really big concept. And so I'm gonna sit here and say, I'm no um, knowledgeable doctor, professor, holder of all information. Um, we're going to take this through the lens today of what's available to us to unpack in your settings and what's um, come to the fore through a variety of documents as we've already noted Aotearoa New Zealand Histories curriculum and Te Tākanga o Te Wā as some base documents to help you uh, build your understanding and where you could go with your tamariki. So my disclaimer is I'm not an expert on mātaranga Māori. I still have a lot to learn myself around um, around mātaranga Māori and adding knowledge to my own kite and making sense of it in my own world. Jim, did you want to add anything to that? Uh, no, I think you summed it up beautifully, just uh, tautoko that, that mātaranga Māori is a world that we will forever be discovering of what it is, what it means, um, and how we work with it. So. Um, as teachers and learners, we all need to just be okay with, we'll learn it one day, some one way, one day, and the next day it might be different, and celebrate that as part of the revitalization of Mātauranga Māori um, after so many, so many generations of it not being honoured and acknowledged. So um, when we have to relearn it or have to drop some of our ways of doing that we've done it in the past, then I think that's a huge a uh, huge point of celebration for us all. So what we have got is how are we going to weave these three documents as, the, as some points of reference only um, into your Digi Awards. So to start off with, I'm starting real plain definition, mātaranga Māori from the um, Te Aka Māori Dictionary. And it says, the body of knowledge originating from Māori ancestors, including the Māori worldview and perspectives, Māori creativity and cultural practices. So I guess just for 10 seconds, what does this mean for you? Or what could this look like in your kura based on what you, the body of knowledge that you hold within your kura? Just a wee moment. Kampai. Ready? Hold that thought. And then we have from the te Takanga o te wā. It's the Ngahitori Māori document that some of you may be aware of. But also, just to clarify, te, ma ah, te Takanga o te wā sits within. Uh, could have used to Marotanga or Aotearoa, so the TMOA, and Aotearoa New Zealand Histories curriculum sits within Te Mataiaho, the new curriculum refresh. Okay, so depending on what document you use. So Te Takanga o Te Wā says that Mataranga is a gathering of knowledge, Māori history that meets the aspirations of the NZC at the moment because TMOA is still under refresh and it allows us to understand what Aotearoa sorry, what makes Aotearoa distinctive and unique. So any thoughts from the previous definition that you could add to this around what you already do within your kura or things that you already have in place with your tamariki around their understanding of mātaranga Māori. If you want to share and unmute yourself, kei pai, here to have a kōrero, but here just to help you. I like the idea of gathering, I think it's probably challenged my um, perception of like, engaging with the tamariki and what they already know and what they can share from, from their whanau and, and, their, and, their, and their histories as well. Ai, ka pai. And I guess that bigger concept also of, I mean, we know that uh, 
kura in Christchurch or Otaitahi have their cultural narrative, so gathering that knowledge that comes within your cultural narrative, and what does that actually mean? You know, when you were gifted your cultural narrative from mana whenua, what was that wider um, understanding slash um, story that's involved in your cultural narrative? Kapai. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Keep thinking. <laughs> so then in the Aotearoa New Zealand Histories curriculum, Mātaranga Māori um, features under the do practices for inquiry and it is around identifying, critiquing sources and perspectives. Okay, so this is where um, the particular part about Mātaranga Māori says this includes paying deliberate attention to Mātaranga Māori sources and approaches. So it's this here in context is around social sciences and giving students the opportunity to explore how societies work um, and how they themselves can, can participate in and take action as responsible citizens. So I see, you know, your Digi Award and exactly what you've just talked about, Alex, around that um, gathering of knowledge is giving the tamariki an opportunity to uh, see themselves in it as an active participant and thinking about the um, those key parts they play uh, within that. So I think that within your Digi Award entry, there's a possibility um, of, and this could go lots of directions, and sorry, I don't want to talk too much actually, because this is your Digi Award entry, not mine, but yeah, um, yeah, just make the most of that opportunity. And understanding that, you know, a lot of Mataranga Māori is understanding things from the past. So give your tamariki the opportunity to unpack those things from the past and make sense of what they look like in 2023. Um, it can be quite a, a deep com a conversation challenge, something to work through together. It may not be a two minute conversation with tamariki, it might be a whole focus and a process that you need to take your tamariki on to get them to really understand what something or something that happened in the past and what it means for us now in 2023. So yeah, I, I'm excited by this because you have this opportunity to go really deep with your tamariki, is the short version. Any ideas or thoughts around Aotearoa New Zealand History's curriculum? So then we move on to Tātaiako, okay, so um, Tātaiako is the document that helps you as kaiako, helps you as kaiako to understand um, and value what is important when taking a Māori worldview. So if you need to, and it is a resource that's there for you to use, have a look at it. It's a framework that highlights um, some competencies uh, that are essential, I guess, values when um, engaging with Māori learners, but with all learners and creating those understandings. So if we, so that's sort of the three key documents that we're referring to. Um, the next part is just really a quick run through of what the key themes are in them so that there might be something that jumps out for you. So in Te Tākanga o Te Wā, the, there's five sort of whenu, some strands that run through the do document and ways of uh, unpacking learning. And the really cool thing around Te Tākanga o Te Wā, it talks about essentially a variation of artifacts. So it could be um, a taonga, it might, it, it's such as a piece of ponamu or a photograph that's come or a, a book or it could be anything. Artifacts are a really cool way. And then it gives you ideas of how you can unpack what that um, artifact means or that photo means within the context of whakapapa, tūranga wai wai, mana motahaki, kaitiaki tanga, and whangaunga tanga. So um, the tākanga o te wā is set up in a way that even if you don't follow the document, you should have access, because you're not a 
te marautanga o Aotearoa kura, there's still some really cool questions in this document that you can use to unpack your understanding with the tamariki and asking them questions. So it is a, quite a good document if you're not really sure on the questions you should ask. It has a set um, of questions that you can use to help understand or help your tamariki to understand whatever your um, kaupapa is or whether you're going to take something that's special within your kura and un unpack that as an artefact, for example. Kapoi. Then in the Aotearoa New Zealand Histories curriculum, we've talked briefly around this being about understanding something from the past and bringing it into 2023. Um, there's lots of resources online uh, and on the Aotearoa New Zealand Histories curriculum, but remember that that key part is identifying and critiquing sources and perspectives. So having those kōrero, is there somebody in your kura or some parents maybe, or a kaumātua, or you, your kura may have a connection with um, mana whenua, um, which they probably all should, but in varying degrees, I'm guessing. Um, but to have those conversations, have the tamariki ask questions and, you know, fact checked. Make sure that your facts are correct and from the right people, not just dot the Google, so to speak. But yeah, take that opportunity to, to um, delve a bit deeper and ask those harder questions, bigger questions, so that you know that you're getting the right information from the right place. Um, and, you know, if you're using your cultural narrative, for example, then where did that come from? Go back and check and, you know, talk to others, see what their understanding is and, yeah, just create a learning situation out of it, which is really cool and see where the kids uh, want to take it and what jumps out for them. And then the last document is Tātai Ako and it has five... Um, Finu strands again, so they are around wānanga, so uh, just learning, uh, learners participating, communities being part of it, having that dialogue, having that kōrero that we just talked about, um, whangaungatanga, manaakitanga, tangata whenua tanga, and ako. So I guess in this and this whenu tangata tanga te whenua tanga, sorry, is around affirming Māori learners as Māori. Um, the ako is that uh, learning, that we're taking responsibility for their own learning and that of our Māori learners. So that's our sort of role. Good point. Any questions about any of those documents and how you could um, include a te ao Māori view of um, anything within your kura or maybe ideas that you've already uh, had a kōrero with your tamariki or maybe you're at the very beginning of this journey and this is just a way to help guide you in your thinking. Any comments or questions? No questions from my perspective yet, but super helpful. I'm at the start of meeting with my tamariki services and it's an incredibly helpful for me. Thank you. Awesome, cool. I realise you've got to go soon, so just pop when you need to go. Awesome, thank you. Um, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm wishing that you were talking to all of our staff. <laughs> I'm really gutted they're not on the call because I actually think this is a really important conversation to have as a starting point. Mm. Um, Coming to mind too, I think leveraging Ian, Ian Taylor's Land of Voyages would be a really good resource to integrate too. Mm. Um, good opportunity to delve deeper with that as well. But no, if these documents are great. I really need to go away and have a deep dive now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's just that knowing that they're there and they're there to support and there's yeah. so many different ways you can use them. So yeah that's the exciting thing about these three documents in particular just to support that whole inclusion of mataranga maori into digi awards yeah but isn't digi awards is just such a great opportunity for that isn't it it gives that real authentic kind of audience or mm. context or purpose behind delving deeper into these documents yeah 
absolutely yeah and also yeah. but still has that creativity factor for the yeah. tamariki that you know for those tamariki that are driven by that tiki factor you know but there's still yeah. some real deep learning like you're saying that can go on alongside yeah yeah because this is all i guess in, in leveraging the technology so that that's their way to creatively express understanding or yeah express what they learn on the journey um yeah the two just it just goes so beautiful together yeah yeah awesome yeah. that's really cool and my um, apologies for driving when i signed up i stupidly thought it said 7 30 p.m and i hadn't logistically thought through the the, the school drop off <laughs> sorry uh, no nah, it's all good no <laughs> no problems here we were just um we offered some 3 30 last term so we thought we'd go before school for those teachers that are like the early bird type <laughs> Oh, aren't you awesome? Oh, we try. <laughs> Gemma tries. She does really well. I'm still learning. <laughs> Good boy. Um, so basically, this is the end of the presentation, but happy to sit here and call you it all through any more thoughts or things that you might want to, because we wanted to generate that conversation for, you know, kura and individuals within kura. Mm. Um, probably just the last uh, advo spot <laughs> is that the Ōtatahi Learning Days are coming up uh, the, oh gosh, Wednesday the 10th, so Monday the 8th to Friday the 12th. And what we have is we do have a um, session for Tamariki who are still in a brainstorming stage or starting their Digi Awards. And I will email you this link after we're finished on this hui. But we are setting it up in a way where we've got some uh, experts who will spend sort of 15 minutes with groups of Tamariki on their entry. And that's either for them to share their idea and get a a te ao Māori uh, view or some feedback or ask some questions about how to develop their um, entry further. But we also can have a look at the beginning of their creation as well and have somebody, you know, talk them through or give them some feedback or just a platform for the tamariki to share if that would be useful for teachers. So the Learning Days is an initiative run by the City Council and the Tūranga Library. So we have jumped on there and offering sessions for tamariki. So if you're at that point and it would be useful, feel free to um, sign your tamariki up and we will work with them on Wednesday the 10th of May from 1.30 till 3 we're going to offer sessions so just another way to support Kayako in their delivery or planning or build up to Digi Awards if you would like. Kapai. Amazing thank you so much. All good so if I finish with Karakia and then if you've got any questions we can I can hang around and answer them if not then I'll let you go on with your day give you some time and Thank you all, Namahika Kote, for being here this morning. Lovely to see you and a pleasure to be working with you. So here, Karakia Fakamutunga. Unuhia te po, te po fiti marama, tumukia te ao, te ao fatu tangata, tatai ki runga, tatai ki raro, tatai ahoro, homie hui e tai ki. E. So kia pai te rā, whānau, have a great day. Um, please be in contact if there's anything we can do to support. Um, Helen McGugan is also another good option around the actual entries themselves. Otherwise,